Welcome to the City of Laramie short telephone system training. This video will go over the basic features and functionality of the city phones and hopefully will get you more familiar with the primary things you will need to do with your phone. There are mainly two different phones that you will see around the city. Although they look slightly different, all of them do the same things and they have the same features as one another. The Shortel 230, which would be this one that we're currently looking at, is just a black and white screen. And there's also one out there called a Shortel 265 and the only difference with it is it has a color screen and a few more buttons along the side up here and these are just speed dial buttons which most people don't even use um, in, in looking at this uh, it's, it's your typical phone you know you have your handset um, but with, with these you also have features such as a speakerphone um, a mute button and for some people they have headsets that are plugged into these and for that all they do is use this button in order to pick it up and hang up. Uh, a few of the other buttons on here this is just for volume you can turn up the ringer and when you're in a conversation such as if you take this off the hook you can turn the volume down um, for the person that you're speaking with on the phone. A few other things um, as you can see, they're clearly labeled on here as far as your voicemail button and everything else. All right, now let's get into a few of the basic things that you're going to actually be using your phone for. For making calls around the city, everyone has a four-digit extension assigned to them. And for yours, you'll see it displayed up here in the upper right-hand corner. So, for example, with this phone, it's just 2121. And when making calls... That's all you'll need to do is just hit that, that four digit extension. So for example, we'll call 2123 and that will be all there is to it. For making external calls, all that you'll need to do is dial nine to get an outside line and then from there you can go ahead and call out. Now one of the first things you're going to want to do when you first start with the city is you'll want to set up your voicemail account. So to do that, just hit the voicemail button. Welcome to the Shortel phone system. Please enter your password followed by pound. And go ahead and enter your password. If you don't know this, call IT and they can get that to you. You have no unheard messages. Main menu. To listen to your messages, press 1. To send a message, press 2. To listen to your saved messages, press 3. To change mailbox option, press 7. To log off, Then just hit 7, seven and that will get you to the menu where you can change your personal greeting. And from there you should be set. You'll know when you have a voicemail because the red light will begin blinking in the up, upper right hand corner of your phone. And you'll also see displayed now is this symbol right here shows that you missed a call. And then this one shows how many voicemails you have waiting. And it's the same function as when we had to set up the voicemail. Is to check it, you can just hit the voicemail button. Welcome to the short health phone system. Please enter your And then go ahead and call. punch in your password. You have one unheard message. Main menu. To listen to your messages, press one. And then from there, you can go ahead and hit one and begin listening to what you missed. Now let's say that you're in another building and you want to be able to check your voicemails. You should be able to walk up to any Shortel phone and simply just pick it up and dial pound pound. Please enter your extension number. And it'll ask you for your extension, so you'll punch in whatever that is. Please enter your password. Followed and then it will ask for your password. You have one unheard message. And that should be it. The use of the directory button here comes in handy quite a bit. When you hit it, it'll pull up an entire list of everyone in the city. And you can either scroll through to find that person and then dial them, or an even easier way to, to go about it is to just simply start typing in the person's name. So for example, let's say you want to call George. And whether it's his first name or his last name, you can just start typing it in. So G-E-O-R. And you'll see that it starts breaking the list down as you're entering in this person's name. And as you continue going, it'll break it down even further until it's just that person or you can just scroll through to that person and then hit dial and that should be it. Now let's say that someone's called in and you need to transfer that call to someone else. 
So let me go ahead and call in here from another phone. We'll answer, I'll put on mute here so we don't have a bunch of weird noise coming across. Um, so we've gotten a call from Elaine, and we want to, let's say we want to transfer this to 2122. All we'll need to do is hit the transfer button, and then punch it in. And from here we can either hang up and the call will just go, or we can stay on the line and tell the person that so-and-so was on the phone for him, and then hang up and the call will go through to him. With these phones, we can also do conference calling. So for example, let's say that we want to pull in a couple different people. So we'll go ahead and we will call Elaine. And we'll wait for her to pick up. And then once she's connected, we can hit conference. And then we can dial the next person that we want to bring in. So we'll bring in Cosmo. Then we'll wait for him to answer his phone. And then once he's answered, it'll ask you on the screen. It'll say, do you want to complete this conference with these two people? And you'll say, yes. And now you have two people who are currently connected to your phone call. And you can continue doing this if you need to, to bring in more people. You can continue to hit the conference button and then dial them and connect it in. Now let's say, for example, someone else in your office is getting a phone call and you want to be able to answer that for them because they're either busy or they're out of the office or whatever it is. So let's say that Elaine in your office is getting a call and you can hear her phone ringing. So I'll go ahead and dial that. So while it's ringing, you can hit the pickup button and then dial her extension. So 2123 and then hit pickup again. and you will take over the call for her. And that should just about wrap it up for the short tell basic phone training. I hope this was of help to you and I would recommend that you take some time to get yourself familiar with the different features and functions and take care.